You know what it is. That's right. It's time to talk money with your money nerd and financial coach. Now, tighten those purse strings and open those ears. It's the Money Talk with Tiff podcast. Hey, everyone. This is an episode of Tiffany's Take, where I answer your money questions live here on the podcast. If you want to ask your questions, feel free to go to moneytalkwitht.com forward slash ask Tiffany and submit your question there. So for today's question, I have how much should my emergency fund be now? This question is very, very unique to your particular situation, but I will say, let's just start from, let's say you're starting from nothing, okay? If you're starting from nothing, the first goal should be to get to $1,000. And that's one thing that um, Dave Ramsey, now I don't agree with a lot of stuff that he says, but um, this is what he calls the baby emergency fund. And I do agree with this one because this is what I've actually done for myself. And so if you have absolutely nothing or you have less than a thousand dollars, your first goal should be to save up that thousand dollars. Now, what does this thousand dollars do for you? Number one, because it's probably not going to pay all your bills, right? For a month. But number one, it gives you the confidence that you can actually do this. And that's what I love about having such a small goal to begin with is that once you hit that goal, you're like, oh, you know, I can actually do this. And it becomes more real for you. And I actually have on my website, I'll go ahead and put the link in the show notes, but I have a savings challenge where you can save $1,225. And that'll actually get you your baby emergency fund. And so if you're interested in that savings challenge, I will put it in the show notes. So definitely check that out. But that is goal number one. Okay. Just get to a thousand dollars. Once you get there, make sure you celebrate, say, yes, I did this. It was awesome. And it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was. Um, And if you need to tighten up your budget in order to do so, do side hustles in order to do so, you should be able to find that money somewhere, somehow. Now, if you're already past a thousand dollars and you're like, okay, Tiffany, I already got that that's done. Then I would suggest at least three months worth of your expenses. Now you may be asking, well, Tiffany, how much are my expenses? That is for you to know. And how you would know that is by budgeting. (laughs) So we always circle back to budgeting. You notice that? Um, So once you have your budget, you can actually see what your expenses are. Um, This morning, I was actually working on mine just to see what my numbers are nowadays as far as um, my business expenses and my personal expenses. How much do I need to survive from month to month? So you take that number and then you do three times that. So that'll get you your three month emergency fund. Now, for some people, that might be plenty, okay? You know, some people are in really comfy jobs, don't really have to worry about losing their jobs. Um, You know, they've been there forever. Uh, They don't see anything changing, what have you. Or if they did get laid off or if they did stop working for some reason, it would be easy for them to jump into another position. Okay, so three months might be enough. But six months would be the next step. So if you're already at three months, then try to get up to six months worth of emergency savings. Now, six months should be plenty uh, for most people. Um, And we're talking about savings. So this is just what you have on the back burner in case you need quick access to money in an emergency. Six months should be plenty. Um, if you feel comfortable, because I have some clients where they're like, no, Tiffany, I need a year's worth. <laughs> if that's what, what makes you comfortable. And that's why I said, this is a very personal thing, um, depending on, you know, what you feel, what you feel is best. But if a year is where you want to go, go to the year, <laughs> you know, now when it comes to savings, um, and just to recap real quick, a thousand dollars to start then three months, then six months. And that should be enough for most people. But if you want to go for the 12 month, by all means, do so. Now, when it comes to savings, just a quick tip. I like to put my savings in a high yield savings account that's online. And so I personally use Ally. Now, Ally, I am not sponsored. Y'all need to holla at your girl. (laughs) But Ally Bank, I've been using them for years for my high yield savings accounts. And what I like about online banks, because you don't have to use Ally, um, there's Marcus, there's Capital One Bank. There's a few of them out there that do these high yields. And what I like about it is, A, 
they get your the percentage that you're getting in interest is way more than just a brick and mortar bank down the street. OK, so that's number one. Number two is at a site at a mine. So in, unless you physically go online, check your balance, what have you, you're not going to know what's in there. OK, <laughs> and so that can actually help you. Like if you have an automatic recurring just to go to your savings, you're not really checking it. You can just let it stack. I do that with my Roth IRA and I do that with my savings Um, because those are two things that I just want to stack. I don't want to touch that money. And so I have it on automatic and I rarely check it only when I reconcile my accounts. The number three is if I do need the money, it's going to take a few days to get it. And so I'm not as um, quick to go to that account if there's money that I want it for something. And I, mind you, I said wanted for something, um, not needed, then I'm not as quick to hit that account because I know it's going to take a few days. And so highly recommend online savings accounts for your emergency funds, especially for those three reasons I just shared. So hopefully that helps you on your journey to building up a savings and emergency fund. If you have a question and you would like to ask it and have me answer it on the show, like I said, go to moneytalkwitht.com forward slash ask Tiffany, and I will be more than happy to answer that for you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you for listening, joining, and being a part of the Money Talk with Tiff podcast this week. You can check Tiff out every Thursday for a new Money Talk podcast. But if you just can't wait until next week, you can listen to previous podcast episodes at moneytalkwitht.com or follow Tiff on all social media platforms at Money Talk with T. Until next time, spend wise by spending less than you make. A word to the money wise is always sufficient. <laughs>